losing it in leaps and bounds because I'm not using it. Yeah. You really do need to have someone to talk to. You. You're using it all the time. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You are going to lose it. That's all three tents. Arnold slept in the car last night because he uh, didn't need to set up tent. <laughs> but ultimately you probably should um, should dry this, slice it up, and you can put this on your peppers. Very hot to eat. Yeah, very peppery. This here is chocolate. This here is uh, <laughs> special brew and made in New Zealand. Looking a little bit healthier since the last time we were up here. You're I'm feeling better, better this time? I'm much better than that now. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Mount Motueri. We'll be coming over that tomorrow. Going over the mountain side when she comes. John, there's enough moisture around here. Yeah. We can so it's yeah. currently uh, just on 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, the whole hut is completely full. <laughs> Big country, Kaimanawas. Um, can I encourage you to just get out and explore? By all means, download a Topo 50 onto your cell phones. Absolutely valuable for only about six New Zealand dollars. Can't go too wrong. Can you see the peak from here? Which one is it? The far one before it drops away? Right in front of the mountain. Oh, awesome. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, um, yeah. I'm YouTubing, so I'm taping this at the moment too, by the way, so I'll edit out what I don't want. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I can't afford to be posting legal because uh, these hunters get a little bit precious, particularly in the raw. Oh, oh, that triangle there? Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's yeah. a big piece of dirt there that's private. Yeah, they make a lot of money out of shooting deer. Probably not at the moment with the tourists, but... Oh, yeah, it's huge. It is huge, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're just at risk of hunters taking you out. Oh, no. Uh, no, well, well there's, a, there's a degree of legality. It's oh, private yeah, land. Just... Outdoorsman and Dave, become yeah. a new subscriber, please. I need all the guys I can get. Oh. An interesting development happened last night. I've been accidentally through miscommunication, uh, separated from the, the lads. We'll find out what went wrong. It's not such a drama, but um, just a good learning curve, just to show you how easy things can go. Not necessarily wrong, just how things can go a little bit askew. And by all means, get moss and dirt and throw over top of what you've left behind so that it just breaks down a lot quicker. Hide that toilet paper if you can. Yeah, that's no rabbit. <laughs> it's a nice sight. This is not where my boys stayed last night. Last time I was here, I camped at this spot and I uh, got up in the middle of the night for a pee and my door is on this side. <laughs> And I found myself with a broken head down on those rocks. Still, great views.
that this is the start of doing twice as many caves as anybody else. Because that'll break it up again, we'll be coming over the top. Yeah, yeah. Running water, stove. Once again, this was packed. Still got a ways to go. That came, that came from that chippy. would keep dropping down into the fair, um, into the river. About two minutes from the intersection of the Firinaki, so I, Waipakehi from the, I'm just about two minutes from the Waipakehi. And I'll just go and tell you the story out of earshot soon. <laughs> but that's the end of a three day epic adventure. Um, basically in the, 
Waipakahi um, and Thunderbolt.